Welcome back to Northern Garage. Today we're going to be working on the Nissan Stadia and we're going to be installing an oil filter relocation kit. We're going to start by removing the plenum. You don't have to do this, but some of you may have noticed that I've got a cable that comes from this connector comes all the way to the battery. This is because one of the two knock sensors has gone or been damaged. We need to replace these so the only way to get to them easily is to remove this plenum. So to make our life easy also fitting the relocation kit we're going to take the plenum off. To remove these clips, you've got to pull the metal tab up and out of the way like that without losing it and then the plug should pop off like that and then remove these so you don't lose them. Now removed as plenum and as throttle bodies, we've removed the two knock sensors and now we're going to remove the oil filter to attach as takeoff plate so that we can move the oil filter underneath. Oh that's tight. Once we've fitted our takeoff plate, we can then measure up and make a bracket to then hold our new oil filter housing.
After we've made our oil filter housing bracket, we can then move on to cutting our new oil filter feed hoses to length. Once we've cut these, don't forget to make sure you clean the inside of debris. There was plenty of lubricant when making up AN fittings. So all that you've just seen was over three months ago. Now I've made a new loom for the sub harness. The oil filter relocation kit's done and now we're gonna have to put it all back together again and then we've got a service to do on it. So let's go. All the inlet of the car is now rebuilt, so we're just going to drop these spark plugs in and then we can crank it over, get some oil pressure and then we'll be able to do his first crank, see if it runs. We're just going to crank the engine now to get some oil pressure within the engine. We don't want to be running it dry and we need to check for leaks to make sure everything's worked okay. We're just going to crank it till we get oil pressure and then 
I'll put the fuels back in for the pump and then it'll run. The fuel pump fuse is back in, we're going to try the engine. That's a good sign. Oh, nearly. It's wanting to go. Oh, here we have it. All the pressure looks alright. We'll just check for leaks. There don't seem to be any leaks. Oil pressure looks okay.